Hey guys, I'm Aburu and welcome back to World of Warships. Today we'll be looking at the Tier 6 Japanese destroyer, the Mizuki. Now, this ship is a, a very slight increase in the uh, Tier before, with the exception that uh, artillery is slightly worse. Now, let's get into the statistics of the ship. Okay, so before I run into survivability, etc, etc, I'll quickly click on my uh, commander. Now, there isn't a whole lot of these sort of skills at the moment to choose for your commanders, but there's an obvious one which you should take with all destroyers, which is this one here, the Torpedo Armament Expertise, which is a uh, increase, uh, sorry, decrease in reload for tubes, torpedo tubes, and a decrease in service time for the bombers. So this is good for both aircraft carriers and especially um, destroyers. So, survivability of the ship, uh, 20. This ship is paper. This ship will be destroyed very quickly, uh, whether it's uh, when it's in close proximity to uh, any ships, pretty much, um, with the exception of destroyers. This worst enemy, um, with all destroyers, is cruisers. Cruisers of the same tier, the Cleveland, the uh, the Japanese equivalent. They'll rip through this uh, like like it wasn't even here. Like they'll do one broadside of um, the Cleveland, um, twelve rounds. If it with armor piercing, it does maximum damage, hits the middle. Um, and this thing dies in one one go. With the uh, battleships, however, these do have a bit of an advantage getting around battleships, doing circles around them, but if the battleship gets his guns around onto you and does at least one or two shots onto you, uh, then you're sitting ducks as well. You're 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 going to you're going to sink very quickly. So eleven thousand health, not a lot, considering the, the maximum shell damage of the Fuso, for instance, the Fuso's guns, is 11,000, so yeah, this this ship, if it penetrates and does full damage, is going to die. 14 millimeters of armor. Main battery, artillery for this, um, this ship is terrible. Uh, there's an upgrade which decreases two of the guns um, and increases anti-air firepower, and so I'm left with only two guns, one at the front and one at the back. These guns are essentially useless. I only use them to um, to fill gaps when I'm using torpedoes, um, and they, their turn time is ridiculously long as well. So the, these guns, I, I could play a destroyer without using these guns completely. Now the next stat is what these ships are all about, and it's the torpedoes. We've only given a rank of 17 here out of 100, but I think that's that's a pretty fair. Um, mark. We have 610 millimeter uh, torpedoes, six on either side, uh, but the problem is the reload time. The reload time for these torpedoes is very long. Yeah, you have to wait a minute and a half in order to fire one. And of course, when you fire from one of these two tubes, um, it fires three. So that is a bit of a disadvantage uh, than the mine case at tier five, because the mine case has three tubes with two each. So, I mean, if you miss with um, with one of these tubes, uh, one of the three barrel tubes, uh, then you have to wait a minute and a half uh, for it to come back on. But with the mine case, um, it's shoot one, a double one. If you miss, then you shoot ahead again, and then you shoot behind, and you, and you have three of those, so it's a, a big advantage. Um, but with this, it's uh, it's kind of good to do spread shots. So anti-air anti capability has been increased very slightly with the... Uh, decrease of main guns but it's still quite petty it's only nine out of a hundred um, but this isn't really a uh, an anti-air sort of ship this is just for self-defense usually missile the uh, dive bombers and torpedoes anyway because of the vast amount of maneuverability which is the next set up to 39 knots nearly 40 knots in speed in, in, in a straight line that is that's an incredible speed that's one of the fastest in the game uh, turning circle of 560 meters and a rudder shift time of 2.8 seconds. So this thing can very, very quickly turn left to right to avoid shells, to avoid torpedoes, to avoid pretty much everything that comes to it. Of course, if you're too close to the enemy then, and they have their guns on you, then it's very hard to maneuver away. So at that point, you're very um, vulnerable. Now, concealment as well. These maneuverability and concealment are, are very much destroyer stats. The, the, usually, well, they are the highest stats for destroyers. The service detectability range of this ship, the uh, Bazooki, is 5.9 kilometers for ships um, and 3.1 kilometers for air detectability for planes. 
Now that's actually very good. Um, your guns go around seven kilometers, so um, I believe uh, they won't be able to spot you once you fire your guns. And of course your torpedoes, which is a huge advantage over the uh, American equivalent, um, is the torpedo range of the torpedoes on this ship. They go up to 10 kilometers, whereas the Americans only have four and a half kilometer distance. So that's that you can, uh, what I often do is I go in a straight line, I, uh, I then turn hard to the left, um, I do all my torpedoes in a sort of spread motion in towards where the uh, enemies are um, less than 10 kilometers away and where they're heading. Um, and then of course I turn around, I hide, I pop the smoke if they see me. And then of course they will get hit by the torpedoes because they are quite fast torpedoes as well. Uh, and 10 kilometers it makes the difference with this ship. It wouldn't be the same. So I've just taken all the upgrades off the ship just to show you guys the modules and the uh, the upgrades. So the first of my upgrade is the hull of the ship. It's a very slight increase in uh, health to a, a combat capability of uh, nearly 12,000 health. But of course this ship is paper, so if you're close to an enemy and they have their guns on you, then you're you're dead anyway. But you know it's a bit it's a bit extra, so it helps. And there's also an increase in anti-air mounts. Uh, it starts off with a uh, a silly or a crappy score of one anti-air capability and now it is increased to five a four sorry of course next we have the uh, gunfire control system which is an increase in distance for the main guns um but the main guns are pretty terrible for this ship they turn slow they uh they have a very slow rate of fire but if you want to uh, lay down some high, high explosive rounds onto other destroyers or cruisers or armor piercing rounds onto battleships, then you can do so. I mean, with some uh, waiting time, though, because the turning time is excessive. At uh, 45 seconds for 180 degrees. The next upgrade is a uh, pretty nice upgrade for the torpedoes. It is, however, a uh, decrease in speed for the torpedoes and a increase of four kilometers to a maximum distance of 10 kilometers for a torpedo, and an increase in damage to uh, 16,000, which is pretty good. And of course we have two last upgrades of the... We have two hull upgrades for this one, so the last upgrade is a uh, decrease in main turrets to two. It takes off the, uh, the middle and the, the middle back one, and an increase of anti-air mounts. So you need this upgrade in order to have the uh, next gun, which is the 120mm, uh, slightly increase uh, in uh, rate of fire and slightly decrease in uh, turn time. But, of, yeah, as I said, the guns are pretty terrible on this. Even with this upgrade, even with the 5 second uh, decrease in turn time, it is a still uh, a very large, um, very excessive turn time. I, I tend to not really use the main guns on this this ship unless I unless I have to in close proximity. There's only two of them. It's kind of pointless. The whole uh, whole package of this ship is the um, the torpedoes, uh, the huge distances they go. So the upgrades. There are a couple of upgrades for the ship. I haven't upgraded this one yet. I didn't really see the point. Um, only two guns and um, two three bowed tubes. It's not really worth it. Uh, we have. Uh, typical repair stuff. I would go for the torpedo tube modification one. Uh, we have accuracy increase for main guns. Pretty useless on this. Um, this one is 20% torpedo tube aiming time increase. Uh, and minus torpedo tube repair time. And of course we have the defensive ones. We have the minus chance in flooding and fire. And increase in propulsion. Or... Uh, in, uh, decrease in rudder shift time, which is pretty terrible for this ship, considering it has a, a a very slow one already. So the upgrades aren't very effective for this ship. The main upgrade is the commander, which has the um, decrease in service time for torpedoes, and uh, that's a that's a very very important upgrade for this ship, because the the firing time for torpedoes is very very big. So that's the main aspects of Mutsuki. Let's have a look at some gameplay. Okay, here we are, guys. Um, you, uh, usually, this sort of map, um, I would probably head towards A. 
we do actually have um, something less. Yeah, we have, we have slightly less uh, ships, but we have higher tiers, so we have the advantage there. The enemy does have quite a uh, big numerical superiority here. Um, things we have to worry about here: uh, the Omaha and the Clevelands. Clevelands specifically are very deadly towards destroyers. They have such a very powerful uh, broadside. And uh, same with its uh, tier seven equivalent, the Pensacola. The Omaha, however, is a bit slower. It does have torpedoes, but this firepower is not nearly as, as high as the Clevelands. But of course, playing as this, uh, this ship, we have to engage. We have to, um, from distance, sort of within sort of eight to nine kilometers distance. Um, these guns are rather terrible, so I don't really like to use them. The main threat here is the torpedoes. So I'll, I'll quickly do what I always do. I'll run through these. Uh, I'll quickly sail through these two rocks here. Do my uh, broadside of torpedoes. Hopefully not uh, get stuck on the rock. Go all the way around it and smoke. Usually a pretty sound tactic. Usually the uh, uh, the ships do reside in between the, the two rocks on the other side of the, uh, on the other side of A. And of course, directly ahead here. Uh, that little spot there. There's one now, the Omaha. Now, Omaha isn't as uh, good as its, um, its tier above ship, but nevertheless, it's still quite a threat here. I won't. Uh, the thing with torpedoes is never shoot straight on towards a ship. Always fire sort of um, where they're going to go, uh, because, of course, a ship can change speed and direction very quickly. I am smoking here, I'm getting a hell away. I have done a spread of torpedoes, some uh, close together and some spread apart. Spread apart torpedoes is usually the biggest threat against other destroyers because they uh, they can't maneuver away. So he is actually evading everything. Um, it's very easy to evade torpedoes in a destroyer. Um, these guns are terrible, so I can't actually get them around fast enough to do any shots onto the destroyer, unfortunately. Uh, but nevertheless, I will quickly just get the hell away. We do have an Omaha to assist, but the other destroyer hasn't done his torpedo salvo yet, so I have to be careful about what's coming through this gap here. Our team He's going around. I have 35. There they are. 35 seconds of reload. This this Omaha is dead. Um, wow. Okay. Well, no, he only took one hit. Yeah, he's kind of screwed. Um, I did pop smoke, so I do have a bit of protection here from the enemy seeing me. Same with the Omaha. But of course, if you get spotted by any of the enemies and you're within sort of viewing range, I think it is, um, you can see the, uh, the enemy is, or if not see them directly, you can see where they were on the map. Omaha's coming around, the Cleveland as well, or the Kogo and the Pensacola. The Pepsi-Cola, I like to call it. They are capping, but I don't know where the other destroyer is. Um, there's no point firing blind into smoke because... Oh... Actually, ignore what I just said there. Is he going around this side of the rock or that side of the rock? Oh, over the other side of the rock. Of course, when I'm in this ship, I do have to be very careful about beating myself. It is very far, uh, quick at manoeuvring, but when you're sort of tunnel visioning... Um, with the, the torpedoes, it's very easy to forget where you're driving. Um, and I have several times become beached to the extent where I can't actually move, and then I'm a sitting target waiting for the enemy to take me out at their pleasure. There is actually a Congo coming over, and it seems he is going round. So I will quickly do a full reduced speed and do a full turn left, and I should make it. Okay, the destroyer is there though, and he is doing a salvo onto this Nagato. But my ma major um, enemy here uh, is the battleship. If I can get some decent hits on the Congo before he gets his guns on me and retreat, then it is all good. Now, they're very slow at um, slowing down and speeding up, changing their direction, etc. So I will take my time here and I will do, I'll do the close shots so they're all sort of close together. He should appear now. There he is. One, two, yeah, I have taken some hits. I am on fire. 
secondary armament has hit me. He's slowing down quite dramatically. I am doing where is his guns facing, where is his guns facing. Okay, I hit him. 20, th nearly 30,000 damage. I'm going to run circles around him. The only damage now on me is the secondary armament. I am sitting ducks though. I don't have torpedoes for another minute. I will quickly do the smoke. Um, he is flooding. Uh, but secondary armament is still pounding me to hell. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the best destroyer player. Um, I, I like playing it as I... It's a bit of fun, you know, going up to the big ships and doing a full salvo of six torpedoes plus into the side of um, a big ship. It's good fun, uh, but risky. And of course, that time it didn't pay off, but previous times it has paid off. Previous times I have uh, done a full broadside into a uh, battleship. The battleship sinks um, with subsequent uh, flooding. I get away with the secondary armament firing me. And then, of course, I, I'm free to go and to take out as many other ships as I possibly can. I think my best uh, is four kills in the destroyer. The Mizuki. The Mizuki is a good ship. Uh, it's not the best destroyer, though. It has a lot of um, a lot of problems with it in comparison to uh, its previous tier. It doesn't. It, instead of three launchers, it only has two. That's a, it, it's a bit of a limitation, really, because um, when you have... Th Three firing independently, it's, it's a lot better uh, accuracy wise firing at a single ship as opposed to two firing at, at three, in my opinion. Of course, when um, when the tiers gradually get higher through from tier six to tier ten, uh, you do get slightly more torpedoes to fire, but they all come in slightly bigger tubes, um, so you get more of a spread and not a lot of accuracy. So, if you of course you'll miss your spread, then um, it's it's a waste it's a waste of time. Um, you have to wait a minute and a half for them to recover, and of course, when you're waiting, it, uh, it, it it's you know it's it's kind of hard to recover at that point. If you're next to a, a big battleship and you've done your torpedoes and and missed, and you have uh, and him and he has his second armament firing at you and he hasn't taken a single hit, then you're you're going to die, in uh, quite quickly. But this ship's um, it's best against aircraft carriers. It's it's arguably best against battleships. Arguably within close proximity because of well, keeping in mind that secondary armament is a threat. Maybe not so much, but the sh uh, cruisers are your primary um, threat in this ship. Cruisers are uh, very deadly, both uh, both in uh, close range and long range. Especially the Japanese ones with their torpedoes as well. Torpedo spread and good firepower is the is the best thing against this ship. Destroyers are kind of hard to play, in my opinion. They're they're sort of the um, the scout uh, tank uh, in this game. You do a bit of scouting. You see, you're probably the first one to see the enemy. Uh, you do your heavy hitting torpedoes and you get the hell away. Uh, it's nice to be a bit a bit more uh, cautious. Um, but then again, it's not not so much fun to do torpedoes, get away, do torpedoes, get away. It's more fun to um, face up with a big battleship, um, use evasive maneuvers, do a full broadside of six or plus torpedoes in the later stages of up to 15 torpedoes, blow away a, a, a big battleship with a huge amount of damage output, um, and then moving on to the next ship. That's a lot more fun play style for a destroyer than firing um, long distance and moving away, long distance moving away. But it's, it's more it's more fun, but it's not as competent. So this has been the uh, Tier 6 Japanese destroyer, the Mitsuki. Um, and next time I, I have unlocked the Pensacola, the Pepsi Cola, I like to call it. Um, tier 7 American cruiser, which is uh, it's got slightly less firepower than its predecessor, the Cleveland. A bit more armor, a bit more everything else. It's a, it's, it's a right upgrade. It's got higher caliber guns. And of course, I've nearly unlocked the, um, the Tier 6 uh, aircraft carrier and the uh, tier 7 battleship so stay tuned guys um, thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you next time